Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. I'm on the George Carlin kick. And I agree with everything he said. It is so plain. It's in our face to see. It's in plain sight what they're doing and how the status quo most of the people just cannot see that this voting thing is a hoax. Those who voted in 2020, like he said, uh, did anything change after that? After that election, they just give us the illusion of having a choice. And we don't have a choice to choose from. Because, like he said, the owners of this country is already established. It doesn't matter who gets in there. The politicians are just the middlemen, the puppeteers of the people to take the bulk, to take the... the, 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 the the buff, but this salary is 145000 a year. They need, and they make much more than that. They obey who pays their salary. So the illusion of voting, and people really think that they're doing something when they vote. And like he said, people say that if you don't vote, you don't get to complain. But in fact, the ones that don't vote do get the right to complain. It's the ones that vote should not complain because you voted for what you get. And so you can't complain because what is happening is because of people that vote. When has anything ever been good? Why can't you see through it? Anyway, that's the way I see it. I saw it that way a long time before, before, even before I awakened, became spiritual minded and, and began to think for myself. I knew voting was like a waste of time. Nothing never changed. You never saw any results. Even now, after the election, what do you think is going to change? Has anything ever changed? It's only gotten worse. And that's because of the people that vote. They vote for what is happening. Or either whoever you're voting for is not doing this. It's something and someone else. So, I just don't understand why people can't see. And it's like, I, eat this. I used to eat bad food, hog head cheese. Chitlins, hog mogs, you know, liver, all that nasty, deplorable, unhealthy food. So I don't know what people are eating now, but I, I used to eat the same food. So it can't be in the food. But I used to be uneducated too. But it's a lot of educated people that believe in voting. That's the thing. And I was also hearing that the miseducation that I received was deliberate because it keeps you from thinking. It keeps you being a sheeple or a robot. It keeps you being obedient, just a worker bee. Usually when you get educated, you're not easy to handle. You have your own mind. You become a critical thinker. You think outside the box. You like your own opinion. 
But it's a lot of educated people. That's why it's also known too that just being educated and have a lot of alphabets behind your name doesn't mean you're smart. So I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in to listening. That's just my opinion of it. It's like, why people can't see? It's not the food. So is it in the air? Is it in a inoculation? Is it the young people who don't care and they are multicultural and they just want to live and love and be happy and refuse to accept that there's still R-A-C-I-S-M going on? And they have diluted that word so much. They have made it nothing by calling everybody that word. I've been called that a couple of times. I'm, I, I can't be because I have no power to upset your life. I have no power to tell you where to live or how much money you're going to make or if you're going to live and die. I have no power. That's what they can do R-A-C-I-S-T may be prejudice to the T and there's nothing wrong with that it's justifiable and it's acceptable with everybody else but black folks we can't do that it's not allowed and this Karen stop that That their name is not Karen I, I want to change it change the, the males to Ray Let's put it close to where it belongs and call the females Racine. Karen is a beautiful name. They're not Karens. They Ray and Racine. So, thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Maybe not. <laughs>